Hello everyone, today I will show Vietnam will introduce to you the video using Smart Airbag 2 to automatic remap for Honda brand. Firstly, I will guide you how to connect Smart Airbag 2 with the Honda bike. You need to prepare one main cable. For the Honda motorcycles after 2022, you will use the main cable to connect directly with Smart Airbag 2 and DLC jack on bike. For the Honda motorcycles before 2022, you will use the main cable to connect with the cable SI203. And then from cable 3, connect with the DLC jack on bike. Normally, the DLC jack will be located near the battery position. In case your customer is Honda motorcycle before 2022 and are located far from you, it's impossible to send the whole motorcycle to you for remapping, only send the ECM. So what do you need to do? You will need to create a cable to connect the main cable with the ECM. In this video, to make it more convenient for me to operate on the table and record the video for you, I have finished making the cable like this, which you can refer to. And I would like to remind you that this cable is not included in Smart Airbag 2 accessorize kit and you need to create it by yourself. Now I will connect my cable with the main cable and then connect with Smart Airbag 2 device. Supply power, tail volt. Connect Smart Airbag 2 with smartphone or the tablet by Bluetooth. Select the number on the screen same as the number on the hardware. I will explain more about remap and toning. A common issue in Honda fuel inject motorcycle models is experiencing initial throttle hesitation and engine sputtering within the speed range of 30 to 50 km per hour. When you have checked all the mechanical parts like injectors, sensor, pump pressures, and the low throttle condition still persist, then you can adjust the software to solve this problem. Remapping or turning refers to readjusting the fuel and ignition maps to resolve the initial throttle hesitation problem in Honda fuel inject motorcycle models. For other Honda old models, they often have problems with the fuel consumption, engine drag, or work engine. Therefore, depending on the specific motorcycle model and its condition, remapping is adjusted accordingly to achieve the most suitable performance, maximizing power output and providing the smoothest riding experience. In this video, I will guide you using automatic remap for Honda brand motorcycles. You select Honda. There are two functions, Remap Sindangen and Remap Kahin. Select Remap Sindangen. Automatic Remap and Custom Remap. In this video, I will guide you about Automatic Remap. Here, there are the most optimized maps available that the manufacturer has designed for you to use. For the Custom Remap, you can free to adjust the RPM limit, increase or decrease the percentage of fuel as desired. This function is suitable for those with extensive knowledge of remapping and turning who want to adjust the maps according to their reference or uh, use it when they have already loaded the available maps in the automatic remap section but haven't achieved 100% of the desired performance. 
In such cases, you can utilize the custom remap option. The instructional video on custom remap will be available in the next video. And now I select automatic remap. The device automatically recognizes the name of the motorcycle, its model year, and the part numbers. Select Remapping. There are the maps that the manufacturers had designed for you. You can click on the icon here to understand about meaning of map. For example, map plus 3% means increase average 3% fuel and ignition compared with the original one or increase the rev limit up to 10,500 rpm adjusting the AF ratio handling the fuel shortage okay now my bike is experiencing slight throttle lag so I will try selecting the plus 3% remark option Are you sure? Remap 2%? Okay. The remapping process will take approximately 1 to 3 minutes. During this time, it's important to ensure a stable connection, avoid turning off the ignition and disconnecting the device. In case there is a loss of connection or accidental ignition set off while remapping, you will need to perform the procedure of turning the ignition off and on again, and then reload the remapping process from the beginning. The ECM will not be affected by this. I would like to repeat what I have mentioned from the beginning. Please refrain from remarking the motorcycle immediately before thoroughly checking the mechanical components. Only when the mechanical parts are in perfect condition and the ECM still proceed should you consider remapping. Do not make the decision to remark solely based on the initial throttle hesitation. Sometimes the problem may be minor and the remapping could lead to more server damage to the motorcycle. For Honda motorcycles, after remapping process is complete, it's necessary to reset the ECM to optimize the effectiveness. You can do this by turning the ignition on and off for 10 seconds. I will unplug the power and then plug it back in. And then for reset ECM, you go to Diagnose, Automatic Diagnostic. Special Functions, ECM Reset. OK. Turn the ignition on and off and start the engine for 10 minutes. To assess the effectiveness of the remark, you can check it on a dyno bench or experience it while riding on the road. You will notice the most noticeable changes in performance and efficiencies when riding the motorcycle outside. That's the end of the tutorial on how to use the Smart iPad 2 device to automatically remark for Honda motorcycles. I hope you found it useful and informative. 
If you have any question, please feel free to leave the comment below. Or if you want to know more information about Smart Ipad 2 device, please contact the WhatsApp hotline number displayed on the screen. Thank you for watching our video. Hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.